That was a legendary turn one, and then that happened. I... I can't believe this. I can't believe this. I can't believe you've done this. Wow. What if we do, like, the big heavy-hitting AoE kind of stuff? What if for this battle we do, like... Sure, for all those steely stairs and stuff. Or something. Or... Maybe I don't necessarily need it. Like, we don't have to worry about, like, turn limit or anything like that. Now if we go back to this again. Um... Because I don't know. Like, we can get them all like that. Hmm... Nice, Mario's out of range of that. Cool. And maybe shotgun here or something? I don't know. Or hammer. Okay, explodey dashes for big AoE damage. Cool. Interesting. Could be interesting. Always leave Mario over here. Something, I don't know. Sure, we'll do this. Sure. And we can do something like... Sure, how about... Bonk! Mario can take out that one that's in front. Maybe, maybe. Bonk, just to make sure that he goes down with the shotgun. Hopefully. Come on, high damage range! Nice! And the stone, good. So you're just taking out... I could always reset here to make sure that we get the super effect. It's a 50-50, I mean. Sweet! <laughs> we got the 50-50. Can you make it there? Oh, well, you can, actually. Get out of here. Cool. Okay. So then we do this. Like that. Take out you and your piano nonsense. And then... Yeah, that one guy could come through the pipe and get Rapid Mario. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. this. Is what I'll do. I could do this. Yeah, hopefully we don't have any bad luck. Especially with it being banned now. Maybe I'll save my Hero Sight for now. I'll probably only be able to use it like once this battle. Oh my goodness, they're freaking thinking crafty here. Ah! Oh no. Well, he's still alive though, and that but that's my party leader that I'm gonna have to be taking into future battles here. I think I screwed myself. Oh, what the heck? I think I just need to take out these dudes in this opening area and then worry about the rest later. I don't think I should go over to that other side yet. Is what it kind of feels like, you know? Like, take out the four in this opening area. And then not worry about the f <laughs> bazillion enemies over there, you know? Means that a couple ghosty dudes will be alive, but maybe that's fine. Yeah, thank goodness Mario was just out of range there. You know? And then, like, one, two out of... Oh, but you they'd be able to use the pipes there anyway. I was just thinking, what if I hammer there? Hmm. Hmm. Could always hammer there with Mario or something like that. Yeah, I'm gonna try something a bit more defensive this time with, uh... With staying in this opening area. Rather than, like, pushing forward immediately. I'm gonna stay in this opening area. Take out these 
initial ones. I'm be on my merry way. You could make it close enough, technically, so... Maybe I'll wait until... Huh. But we don't need to jump off of you. The shotgun will just kill you anyway. Hmm. But what if I want to hammer him? I stole a 100% chance from here, apparently. Weirdly enough. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> They've broken the no bad luck rule. They kind of have, haven't they? Oh, I probably should have gone to snipe this guy from farther, though, right? I oh, know my last sight is broken. Hold on. Maybe I'll just have Rabbit Yoshi, like, way at the back or something. Maybe. It's probably 100% with, like, the grenade. Or something, rather than my actual main weapon. Is probably what that meant. Okay, let's see here. So, Rabbit Mario... Start out like this. He could even go here. What he could do. Be a little bit closer to that far off judo. Because I don't think we need to worry about anybody hitting us from across there. Apart from the ghost dudes. But the ghost dudes can teleport. So like whatever. We're going to get damage from them no matter what. There's a thing. Pen Rabbit Luigi. No. Rabbit Luigi's pretty cool. What's your range here? So we're safe from you if we go here. Goes... Mr. First Ghost Dudo. Did I only use two dashes there? Oh, I didn't use my dash on you. Well, we'll see if it matters. Can we stone you? We'll see if we can take you out anyway. In which case, it won't have mattered if we dashed. Yeah, so then we can do this. Like that. We can still take them all out anyway. make extra sure like this yeah if they come through these pipes they can come through like another pipe immediately and then uh so I'll just go here I suppose or something the least interesting of the eight playable characters I like is vampiric dashes and stuff I think that's cool okay so then we do this hopefully it doesn't destroy Mario's cover and damage it a little bit but we're fine so now we're chilling here. Just gonna pass it to the enemies, I think. If they come through the pipe, they can, like, chain the pipes together. To do things. Which is the scary part, you know? That's what's scary here. Is them chaining all these pipes together. Well... Okay, whatever. Okay, well, we should be able to recover from here, though. <laughs> oh, man. What if I did go over here with, like, the shoddy? What if I dash attacked all three of them? I could hammer this one guy from here. I can hammer this guy from here, too. Yeah, let's give the empower to Rapid Mario as well. <laughs> so then we can hammer you. Well, boopity bop. No crit or anything, but because of the empowered, it'll kill anyway. Probably Yoshi can take out that guy this turn. Or maybe this smasher? He's gonna have to team up with Mario to do that, though, but he can't because of. Uh, maybe he can. by doing something weird like this, maybe. Nobody's close to the pipes on this side. So, like, this side seems pretty safe. Hmm. He would be able to get Rabbit Yoshi from there. If we get really high damage range, we'd be able to do it. So maybe we should dash attack first. And then go here. And then we attack. 
is what I'm thinking here. Fingers crossed. High damage, please. And it wasn't. Of course it wasn't. I'll still be able to smash this next turn, though. Which means I gotta do this. Oh, move this guy away as well. Interesting. Maybe I focus on the smashers for now. I come here and then I shotgun them. Or I use the hammer. Maybe. Hmm. It's a little bit complicated to indicate safe areas and something like this just because the movement options are so fast. Like, this is very different to Fire Emblem. In Fire Emblem, it's like, try to avoid damage on your units that can't take it. In this game, with the movement options, you basically just have to accept everybody's going to receive damage. You just need to, like, do your best to try to limit it as much as possible. That's essentially what's going on here. Because, like, look at this. I can cross the map to here. Like, I could have gone through this pipe, gone through this pipe, gone through this pipe, and, like, been over here. Like, it's crazy the movement options that are in this game. So now it's just the one ghosty dude. Yeah, so this time's the time. A little bit sad that Mario is getting damage here. Because he's the one character that we for sure need to bring into, like, the next next thing here. It's like, what area is safe? These guys can teleport. There is no safe spot on this entire map because this guy can teleport. So there is no safe spot this time around. Boop. I can just, like, chill here. Just because the movement is so vast, it's not a futile thing like Fire Emblem would be. Boopity bop. Cool. Okay, well, we got past the first level. The first secret level here. Ah, and three turns counts as perfect. Okay. Yeah, these aren't like the challenges. We can afford to have people go down. Hopefully there's a mushroom somewhere around here. For Mario, at least, but, uh... Oh? Maybe I should get what's this way first. This looks like a dead end first, I think. Maybe. Oh. Well, time to break it all. So, uh, so I don't really think that danger areas could work in this game straight up. I don't think so. Hey, sweet. Opera theater. Cool. Oh, bring the thing back. Boop. Bleh. <laughs> don't know if that's... Rabbit Yoshi or Rabbit Mario speaking. One of the two. Oop. Okay. Okay, break that. What's through here? Bad <laughs> Reggie Bub suggestions. Wait. What was through this other way first then? Oh, I just gotta bring like a statue here, right? Yeah. So I gotta find a statue and bring it here. Put onto that pedestal. be able to push a thing onto there which means a statue must be somewhere this way this is what that means right yeah we got it we got the thing boop come back and break the rest of this later oh, i see some things over there yeah let's go and get this cut wait is that the way to the oh that's just the way to the actual level itself i guess we'll get the collectibles over here first never mind um my oh my let's see yeah oh oh it was a freaking trick so we'll get that stuff after it i guess that makes sense we always get like the silver collectible thing bob after doing all the secret level stuff it's typically i pressed a i swear i swear as i pressed it okay Oop. and then we gotta go back down around this way like this there's no mushroom anywhere around here or anything I gotta go all the way around. So, like, I can switch up my other two party members. But Mario's got to stay in. Is the case. Since Mario's in the name, I mean, rabbits are in the name, too, but, uh... Alright, let's see here. The final level of this session. Defeat mid-boss. What?! What is this? Oh, he somehow has Rabbit Yoshi again, even though Rabbit Yoshi is right here. It's a different Rabbit Yoshi. Hmm. Might just go with my main squad. That's what I may do. 
and attempt it at least. What the hell? Defeat mid boss, huh? Calavera. I could hammer you from here, right? Okay, let's do this. While we're all together like this. Oh, I could even come through this pipe. Be in a safer spot like this. Why can't we use him instead of Ubisoft? Yeah! That might be a Nintendo decision rather than a Ubisoft thing. Maybe. I don't know. I just missed the opportunity to dash attack. I'm dumb. Wait, did I miss a... Yeah, I must have because I could come out of the pipe and do the... Gosh, diggity darn it. Well... Yeah, we do have a rabid Mario. We have a different Mario there. I don't know. That might have been a Nintendo decision. Who knows? Who knows what it could have been? I am gonna freaking go through that boo. If I want to hammer that Valkyrie. Which kind of sucks, but... Wait a second. Wait a second. You gotta stomp if somebody else goes through first. I mean, like, chill here. Or something, I don't know. And then Mario gets a little bit farther, but, like, the cover doesn't matter because the boos are here. Ubisoft probably knows. They probably know, but what is the answer? Is the real question of the day. Because then we can do this. And we stomp, and we do this. this. Is what I'm thinking here. That's my thought process. But the boo's gonna teleport me, so like, what does it matter? You know? What does it really matter here? I don't even need to use the hammer. Save the hammer. And save it for now. But we can take out this side. I suppose. do this. Wait. Let's see how much this does first. Okay. Cool. <coughs> Allergies to honey. <laughs> Just seeing if I even need to set up Luigi for a shot there, per se. No, oh, I can't get Calavera from this side. <laughs> Is this far enough from this boo? I hope so. <laughs> and then Luigi can snipe one of these other guys. Maybe I can send the drone after Calavera. Maybe, maybe. Okay, it's far enough. Good. And this will also keep, like, the enemies distracted if we put this out onto the field, you know? So maybe this is actually the strat. You had to mute my microphone and sniffle for a second there. Oh, and the freaking boo comes after it. But it'll be on the field for a while and keep on going after the boss even after the boo teleports it. Maybe it'll blow up some other enemies and it'll keep other enemies distracted at least with its decent bit of health. So we'll do Steely Stare here, because this is still a good position to do that. There's no point to do this here, unless it's to heal Mario. <laughs> Should I? Mario's going to be in a pretty bad position when he gets teleported, most likely. Screw it, I'm doing it. Just because the boo's probably going to royally screw me over, you know? Okay, that one's not that bad. Oh, well, that, that actually worked out pretty well. <laughs> it put us all here, including the drone. Weird. Well, the drone's just gonna keep on existing on the field and keep on going as a thing, so that's perfectly fine with me. <laughs> Neat. Are we gonna get a bounce, maybe? There's the bounce. Sweet. Look how much damage Luigi does to them. He literally took off like 70% of the boss's health just with the Steely Stare, was the thing, just by getting Luigi into position. Like, ah. He is absolutely a glass cannon sniper. Is what he is. Darn you. And we just need to defeat the mid-boss. We technically don't need to beat anyone else. Oh, I should have put up the shield because the boo. I should have known it was going to screw us in some way anyway. I should have put up the shield. Gosh diggity darn it. Whatever. Going to ground pound Mario and the drone. <laughs> Mario's almost dead from Luigi's drone now. From that. Why? Just gotta fast forward. Maybe Luigi can just solo the boss. I don't know.
Wow. Um, about that. Wow. Just... I'm not too close to that boo, am I? Just wow. Well then. I am absolutely flabbergasted right now. I'm gonna be honest. Could snipe you or drone you. Luigi's revenge on Mario. Oh, I can't quite target the boss from here. Hmm. Nice. You're not moving. Well, the boo, the boo might move you into a position that's really bad for me. Maybe. It's possible. We'll see. We'll see. We'll clear Mario of the ink. We'll clear him of all charges. For now. His crimes are still known. Will we get the bounce? The critical, please. It's a 50-50. Darn it. He's just gonna be able to heal up. And he's probably gonna kill me with a grenade as well. Mm. Luigi. His steely stare will be up in like another turn here. So like he might just be able to win with steely stare against the boss potentially. Maybe. I'll come down here. I suppose I'll come down and just fingers crossed for like the crit. Even without it, we should be able to survive both these grenades. Dang it. Well, that sucks. I'm putting this up for now anyway, just because they're going to grenade us is the thing. And hopefully, hopefully live. So, uh, you know. Okay, so the boost seemed to teleport everybody over there, which is good. We don't have to worry about that Valkyrie now, at least. This map is kind of scary. Thank goodness for Luigi being OP. It's a bit of a glass cannon. Come on, blow up that, that supporter so we don't have to worry about him damaging us as well. Nice. Like, Luigi can live now. And then, uh, Steely Stare or something, I guess. Okay, bounce maybe? Oh, we got a really high damage range on that. He just dies. He's healing himself. Please don't attack from there. Please move next. Good. Oh, very good. Very good. Thank you for not attacking from your current position. Okay. We might be able to get through this with everybody surviving. Which would be good because then that means that we get the uh, poi effect and stuff, you know? Let's go for it. <laughs> Why does Rapid Yoshi have his hands up like that? Like, I surrender. We got the crit? Is that enough? Oh, no. We need to get somebody in there. Rapid Peach can seemingly make it in here. Wait a second. Ah, we can snipe from here, too. We can do it. We can do it without losing anybody. Even though it looked a bit scary there. There we go. Mid-boss defeater. Wow, what a map that was. Wow. Just wow. Like, they give you five turns. Be able to get perfect there. Wow. That was a wacky map, wasn't it? 25 power orbs for that. Phew. My goodness. Battle HQ Reboilatory Update. Four gold weapons unlocked. Shiny new gold weapons are available now. Want to know more? Check the Battle HQ now. Watch me using Reboilatory Update. Gain extra coins. Replay chapters of Ari Clear. Improve your rankings. Get extra coins. Two new special challenges. Use your tactical skills in two new battles. Wow. That was a map, wasn't it? That was a... Wow. <sighs> Glad that's through with. Okay, boop, boop. What does this do here, huh? I don't know what this does here. But, this, uh... Wait, how do we get to the chests, though? Maybe pressing that switches its direction around? I don't know. Let's see here. Let's get the thing. More power orbs. Nice. Yeah, we'll do some upgrades before we wrap up the stream. Get our upgrades ready for, uh... The final world with World 4. I don't know why it shows my coin counter. Is there a coin in there? Is this a switcher thing? No, how do I get over there? What? That's got to be important somehow. Maybe it's important from this place that we actually step out at. Now that I think about it. Maybe it unlocks some path over here that's blocked by the blue. Or something. 
Is there a thing? Is there a different pipe over here that's blocked by the blue? Maybe. Yeah, the coin counter appears there. What? I am confused. I think that we can only do the ultra hard ones after we've uh, cleared the game. I don't think we're going to be strong enough for those before that point. Yeah, like I'm just back around here again. So like, hmm. So I don't know what hitting that blue over yonder way does anyway. What does it do? Wow. What does it mean? Doesn't seem to be a switcher thing for this. I am so confused. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do the ultra hard challenges eventually, but not right now. <laughs> not right now. Hmm. Is it a weird switcher thing somehow? Like, what does that tile going down there mean? Does it switch that? And if I bring it around town, it'll bring me to the right place? Anyway, you're officially gone now. Enjoy your stream. All right. Take care, Reggie Bub. I'm going to wrap up this stream after we uh, get those items and then I allocate power, power orbs. Is the current plan. Does it switch things somehow? Or something? <laughs> nope. What is the point of that? Let's see here. Mario, Rabbids, Kingdom, Battle, World 3, Secret Level, Silver Chest. How do I get that? World 3 Collectible Chests? Um, all chests slash collectibles in Spooky Trails? Here's a 36 minute video. Hmm. So, uh, let's see here. If we go to the, uh... Should be around the end though, right? Because like secret level. Right, I hope. Is this a part one? It only goes up to the fifth area there. I don't get it. <laughs> I'm sniffling. Um, Here's a shorter video of all chess locations and spooky trails. Whoa. If I mash through for the skip five seconds thing where Bob and see where they get to the uh, secret level bit. Maybe. Is this it? No, that's a different silver chest. What that is. Um. Hmm. I'm mashing ahead five seconds because I don't know how to get this thing here. I don't get it. Let's see here. Okay, so now they're going to the secret area. So how did they get these uh, silver chests? Wait, did they just get it? Oh, how did they get there? Oh, it's freaking... It's this one here that I never took before. Ah, no wonder I'm sniffling like crazy and got allergies to... It's madness. Oop. Here, some more power orbs. 20 power orbs, very nice. And then we get... Wow! Phantom, a new gold 3D model. A gold 3D model of like the greatest boss ever in a Mario game. All right, let's go to Peach's Castle actually before we, before we wrap things up. And then we'll be ready to head out to world four for next time, the final, final world. Definitely far from the end of our adventure if we do decide to go around doing these other challenges and buddy dome and all kinds of all kinds of stuff. Alright, so let's see here. Let's see, what upgrades can we get? Skill tree. So let's see. What have we got here? Could always do some more range there, which isn't half bad. Um get even stronger with empower. Plus 30 is a decent bit of damage to be adding to dash there. I gotta say. And then we have like a decent dash and a decent jump. Hmm. Sure. Something like that. Um, For Rabbit Peach here. 
or weapon damage. Could be nice. I might do this, sure. Sure, more damage. Um for good old rabid Luigi over here who only has the two dashes, but he has like really strong ones. Bring more health points. Do 160 damage with his dashes. Screw it, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Luigi team jump range is probably good. I don't know why I haven't done that before. Let's do it by two. Probably should have done that way earlier. It's a thing I probably should have done. Um, so he has all his dashes. Increase the blast radius. Increase damage dealt. Hmm. Sure. That. Uh. Hmm. Peach, how about you, uh... Sure, do that. Perfect. Um, let's give Rabbit Yoshi another dash. He can go up to five. Seems like. <laughs> we can give his dash a uh, 90 damage. This current four. Sure, let's do that. What's this one? Oh, moving base damage like dash. It's just 10 power orbs. Let's do it, sure. Sure, there we go. There we go. Let's just have a quick look at the gold weapons of curiosity. Yeah, so not as good as the current stuff that we have anyway. It seems like. It doesn't make any sense. We could only do that, those secret levels, after clearing world three anyway, considering we needed to use the block breaking power to get there. Or did we? Did we? I don't, I don't even remember. Whatever. Law of the Golden Hammer says, if all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail, or in this case, like a photo squash. Buck Sentry. Lock horns with the enemy in style when Buck takes the battlefield. Made with 10% copper to reduce the chances of scratches and dents. Let's see here. This one's a little bit better, against mid-bosses at least. There's gold in them hills, so get ready to stake your claim on your opponent's face. Oh, maybe those gold weapons I'm checking right now are the... Oh, those are probably like the World 2 ones. That's probably what that was in that case. Yeah, that's probably what's going on here. It all makes sense now. Elevate your opponent's destruction beyond the mundane with 24 karat gold premium explosions that overcome the senses with luxury and pain. Well then. Column Crusher. Strike gold with this bionic ionic. And hope your enemies appreciate the craftsmanship and artistry that's gone into sealing their doom. Let's see here. Weird how goldfish sound really valuable, but they actually cost like 29 cents at the pet store. <laughs> the goldfish boom shot. <laughs> oh my. Bullion Bill. Unleash a 24 karat cannonade at your foes with this gilded grump that gives a new meaning to the word payload. Then we have Golden Goose. This gold version of the standard granite deck includes a season pass subscription to future butt kickings. Unbelievable. And nothing gold here. I guess it'd be in World 4 for a rabbit Yoshi along with our last character of regular Yoshi. All right, we're getting there. We're upgrading things bit by bit. We are getting there. My I don't know if it's for everyone. It might just be my weird bugging out headphones, but my left ear sounds slightly different than my right ear for this. It's weird. It's very strange. Bodyguard, body parry. Eh, it's 10 orbs, whatever. I'll do one there. I'll do one there. All right, well, that was another good session of Mario plus Rabbids, I think. I've been streaming now for six hours and 20 minutes when you combine our finale Dark Souls 2 stream with this since it was all one long stream. So it's been a bit of a, it's been a bit of a long stream. So I'm going to go get some sleep here pretty soon. Rest up for some more super exciting software engineering tomorrow. Oh boy, I sure can't wait. You can just hear my excitement. <laughs> Appreciate everyone who stopped by and hung out. I'm heading out of here for now. So take care and see ya.